G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Mags TV and the Rundown Under, the first Rundown Under for 2018 where we are going to go through the details for the channel, what's been going on over, well, over the holiday break obviously, and take a little bit of a look at what the plans are for coming into 2018 and there is going to be a few changes to the channel this year. So there's no real point in beating around about this, so I need to uh, to be fairly upfront. Uh, over the last couple of years, I've been doing my best to try and get as close to a video every day as possible. Miss a few here and there, but I'm usually aiming at at least five a week if I can't hit the full seven. Now, it has been possible, but not easy to be able to do this. Um, YouTube and doing a video a day is very much a young man's game or a single man's game or the game of somebody who can get away with doing minimal editing to their videos. I do a lot of editing in my videos uh, to do the cinematic shots that I do in flight games. I am most certainly not a young man anymore. I am in my mid-30s, and I am not a single man. I got married late last year. I have three kids. I have been putting excessive amounts of time into YouTube potentially at the detriment to some of my time with my own family and I want to actually adjust that this year. I don't want that to be a thing anymore. So what is probably going to happen across 2018 is the number of videos that I'm going to be releasing on average is going to drop. But all things working correctly, the quality of the videos that I will be releasing is going to significantly increase. I've been practicing a few new editing techniques, I've been practicing around with After Effects, I'm still not confident in throwing a lot of the After Effects stuff in at this point, but the plan is to step up into a new type of video, something that's a little bit, well, a lot better if all things go to plan. Now the first step in this you've sort of already seen, the uh, the video for the sinking of the HMS E3, the historical series, war stories that I'm starting up. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. The only thing that has been holding me back was really Adpocalypse. The first part of this, um, as some of my patrons that uh, are watching this video right now, and I'm sure they'll drop a comment down in the comment section below, um, they've sort of known that I've been working on something like this because I've been quizzing them about uh, certain historical subjects, things that they would like to see, for six to eight months at this point, uh, between what's been going on on the Discord and actually on Patreon itself. And I've been s just spitballing ideas back and forth to see exactly what they thought. And this is what it's sort of, sort of come out to. My passion has always been history. Um, War Thunder has always just been a framework for it. There was a time when I was leaning more on the game than I was on the history, and it went through and burnt out over time. I'm, in the end, the reason why I like games like War Thunder, the reason why I like simulations like IL-2 and DCS, is because of my interest in aviation history and military history in general. So... An historical series focused on, well, at this point in time, World War I, World War II, the Korean War, and Vietnam is definitely something that I've always wanted to do. And I've always wanted to do it on that small-scale story. Um, if you want to see uh, like a fantastic channel that does really large-scale history, looking at the big picture, um, if you haven't already, go check out Military History Visualized. He is fantastic at what he does but he deals predominantly in the big picture the how did the logistics work how did they get the supplies how were the armies organized exactly what tactics did they have planned out what was the overall plan for this army to try and pull off this event my war stories will be dealing in the small picture the either the individual or the small unit of people operating on a single front or a single portion of a single front of that massive engagement. The stories of an individual doing what he had to do, and there is thousands of these stories. Some of them are incredibly well known, some of them very, very, very few people, even people that are interested in this type of content, actually know about, and that's what I intend to do. And there is a hell of a lot of research behind it as well. Initially, when I was planning this out, I was trying to work out how I was going to manage to do one of these videos on a regular basis and still maintain the amount of uploads that I was doing. But sort of my realization over the Christmas New Year's period coming into now, 
it would be much easier if I did these videos more often, or at least if you guys are interested, doing the historical videos more often with a just a reduced number of videos overall and just attempt to push in more quality into these historical videos and into the videos that I actually pick up and maintain. So anyways, that is sort of my plan going into 2018, where my head's at for the focus of the channel. So let me know in the comment sections down below uh, exactly what you think of this idea. To give you an idea on exactly what I'm planning on covering on the channel, and pardon me, I'm just gonna open this up, document off the side. Yes, I'm recording this entire update completely live at this point. Um, Alright, the War Story series. I've already done HMS E3, which is the uh, the first ever submarine to submarine kill. That's on channel right now. I'm looking at covering uh, James Howell Howard. Uh, I have a special video that I'm not going to speak about here on that one yet, actually. It's going to be a multi-partner, a, a multi-parter. Uh, probably going to take at least three episodes to get it covered, so I'll leave that one as it stands. Um, uh, U-864, the uh, first ever submerged submarine to submarine kill, and depending on which way you look at it, potentially the only ever official submerged submarine to submarine kill. Um, a small little video series on, potentially there might be one or two episodes on this one, I'm not entirely sure yet, I haven't pinned it out, on the Spitfire Mark 9, because it is actually a very interesting aircraft when you realise that, well, it was sort of built to fill a gap because the Griffin Spitfires were supposed to be on the way and they were delayed. I am going to be covering HMAS Sydney. Um, if I can finish off the war story that I'm working on now, I'm not entirely sure whether or not I'll have HMAS Sydney ready for Australia Day, but uh, I was trying, planning on trying to get it up then. Uh, U-156, which is uh, the Laconia incident. Uh, there's a tragic story uh, there that uh, completely changed the face of naval combat in World War II, and the effects of that are still active today in modern naval combat. Um, HMAS Dreadnought, uh, who a, well, effectively a battleship that uh, ran over a German submarine. Um, the stories of HMAS AE-1 and AE-2, which were two Australian E-class submarines in World War I that uh, actually had quite a bit of history before uh, behind them, and I believe they've both been discovered. So there's actually some shots on them as they are today. Um, there's a couple of uh, a particular event in Korea involving two F-86 Sabres that I do want to cover. Um, also looking at potentially covering the Halifax explosion, which is, as I understand it, the biggest non-nuclear explosion ever, and it took place during World War I. But anyways, this is just some examples of what I've got penned out at the moment. Some of these already have half to two-thirds completed scripts ready for, and I've got an idea on how I'm going to be finishing them up. For the moment, the idea is to use footage from the simulations and games that currently exist to create the environment, and I will be doing what I can between single player and multiplayer to try and recreate the events um, that actually took place as background footage. That won't always be possible, so I'm also hoping at some point to potentially start introducing some artwork to this as well, and expanding out with a an almost comic book style artwork to the events running in the background. I haven't quite worked out exactly how to make that work yet, and I haven't quite got the artists organised for it yet, although I'm hoping Mad End will be on board for this one. But yeah, that is that is where I'm leaning towards with this series at the moment. Now, it's not going to be the only thing that's running on the channel, obviously. I have full plans at this point to start up a, another DCS campaign. I finished off the MiG-29 a while back. Um, I've basically been waiting, well, to be honest, most of my DCS content has been waiting on 2.5. 2.5 still due at the end of this month. Um, I actually have a DCS news video that is probably going to be uploaded later on today. But yeah, uh, after seeing the way that uh, 2.5 and the car, uh, the Carcasus map for 2.5 actually looks, that's the map that I want to play these campaigns on because it just looks fantastic. So yeah, it's not going to be the cancellation of any gameplay that's on the channel, but rather than constantly trying to push myself to try and hit seven videos or as close as I possibly can to per week. 
I'm instead going to try and make the historical series, War Stories, my primary video, which at the moment is going to be aimed at about once per fortnight. Um, if I can, I'm going to try and increase that to once per week. We'll see exactly how long it actually takes me to put together an episode once I get into the flow of the format. And once we've got, um, once we're in that flow and we've got decided on either a week or a fortnight, that's where a large amount of effort will go. And then I'll aim at about four to five videos over the course of the week and try and take a little bit of extra time to tweak each of these videos up to increase increase their overall quality. So, yeah, less mass production, more quality over fewer videos. But try and make those fewer videos far more interesting to watch. Of course, I'll need your feedback on all of this as we go through the course of the, uh, the first couple of months of the year to see what you guys think of it. I will need you guys to tell me in the comment sections what you think of the historical war story series. Do you like the way I'm doing the format? Is there anything you would like changed? I'm probably going to be popping a few questionnaires up just to try and get a bit of a feel from you guys and exactly on how to do it, because there are a couple of different options on exactly how I can handle this series and the overall content on the channel as well. You know, one of them is just returning to just mass producing videos, although I have a sneaking suspicion that many of you are not going to want that and are going to like the idea of fewer higher quality videos overall. So, what about all the existing series that are currently running on the channel? Because I do have a few of them. In fact, I have probably too many. Um, I'm going to finish up The Observer, because The Observer is a one-shot deal uh, video anyway. It's an RPG. Once you play it to its completion, it's done, and I find the story incredibly interesting. And you guys don't seem to be watching it as much as I would have liked. I'm not entirely sure why, so if you guys will let me know in the comments down below, why is it that you aren't watching that one, and is there anything I could do to spice up the way that that particular series is running? Because I do like these story-driven games. I would like to bring some stories to the channel from the game side of things as well in the future, but I, I will be completing uh, The Observer regardless. Um, I'll be completing the 10 Days of Autumn campaign. Uh, that one I actually need to speed up a little bit. Uh, Silent Hunter. I've only just gotten the Silent Hunter 5 campaign going again, and I've already had an issue with it. Uh, I think one of the mods broke. I'm still in the process of trying to work out what happened. The, uh, the mods were working perfectly fine. I was playing through having no problems whatsoever, and I was in the middle of a recording session. I located a couple of really good ships on the British coast. The perfect thing to put at the bottom of the ocean. Great for my tonnage. And, um, tried to submerge the boat, and the game crashed. And I've done some testing since then, and every single time that I try and submerge the boat, the game crashes. And I'm not entirely sure exactly what has happened with that. I can start a new series, like a new campaign, and the boat will submerge perfectly fine. But yeah, that's not a fix if I'm trying to do a long-running series. So I need to have a bit of a tweak there and try and work out what is potentially causing that issue. I'll also be increasing the number of events. I'm planning on having a War Thunder event at least once a month, um, with the potential of some very special events going on uh, even sooner than that. Um, I'm looking at this point in time of at an IL2 event and a minimum of at least once a fortnight, maybe even once a week, depending on how well we can organise it. Uh, these will be held on the Unprofessional server. New ma uh, missions are being uh, created for those at the moment. You've seen some of that already and we yeah, are trying to get a lot more activity going on in there. Um, we are going to potentially be moving all of the Discord side of things for the IL2 events and potentially all events off of the Mags TV main Discord and into an events only Discord that will basically function during the uh, during an event and will then be cleaned out at the completion of an event just to make it a bit easier for people to be able to jump in last minute, get into the Discord, be able to play, do whatever they want to do and then uh, get back out again and just make things a little bit easier there. Um, we're still working on the details on that. Obviously that will be mentioned in any of the announcement videos for upcoming events which I will be trying to do a week in advance so everybody has time to get organised. And yes, I will be trying to do some events earlier on in the day as well to try and hit the people on the opposing time zones to when I normally run them. It's just I haven't been able to do that around my real life commitments at this point in time. 
So probably the last thing to bring up today is Patreon. Now, I mentioned earlier on the Adpocalypse was one of the things that he was keeping me away from actually starting off the War Story series and really getting into the history side. I was just about ready to begin when it all sort of, well, YouTube all sort of started to collapse last year. And I've been holding it off and holding it off and holding it off since then. I'm going through with it now, and as I said, it is completely due to the support of my patrons. So, a massive thank you to all of you. Um, Patreon, I know my Patreon is not the prettiest place at the moment. In fact, the artwork in there hasn't been touched in about two years, and um, it, it's sort of, it's been that place that I've sort of had to have running, but I'll admit I was kind of a little embarrassed by the fact that it actually needed donations and support but at this point it's um things have moved a little bit beyond that so patreon is getting a full overhaul there is going to be a couple of tiers for different subscribers a few tiered rewards um nothing's going to be too locked away there will be no content that is limited only to patreons if any general viewers are worried about that i always said that i would never lock content that i create behind a paywall um, at best, it's possibly going to be that some of these historical videos will be made available to patrons ahead of time, and that patrons will uh, potentially be able to suggest subjects that they would like to see covered um, in the expansion of the war stories and the historical side of the channel into the future and uh, get involved in some of the discussions. Obviously, as I said, some of the background footage is going to be made out of in-game gameplay, so patrons are probably going to be uh, asked if they have the, the appropriate titles and the time if they would like to come and join and help build some of these backgrounds over time as well. But uh, all the content in the long run will be available to everybody on the channel within you know, a week or less of it being uploaded. So at this point, I think that's everything. Uh, this shouldn't, if everything goes to plan, be the only video of today, as I mentioned earlier on. I do have a DCS uh, news video that I'm going through at the moment uh, with a little bit of interesting stuff in there just to keep you guys all up to date. And there will be a IL2 news uh, going through the updates for everything that's been going on in the last month in regards to Battle of Kaban and the new expansions that have uh, started preliminary work in the background there. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. Again, massive shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you very much. Um, the changes to the channel this year, uh, with your support, really, more than anything else. Uh, like Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. In fact, at this point in time, if it wasn't for Patreon, I probably wouldn't be able to continue maintaining the channel at all, and I would probably have to let it go. So... Yeah, there's not enough words of thanks for you guys. Anyways, until next time, uh, remember to click that like button, subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care, guys.